Stella and Mike, Judge Cheryl Matthews is considering several motions in this case. This morning, she decided one. Matthews will allow a witness to testify that the defense doesn't want on the stand. It's the original gun owner who the prosecution says can speak to the condition of the gun lock. As for the other motions, the judge says she needs time to review everything and make decisions. James Crumbly is charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter in connection to the deadly shooting his son committed at Oxford High School. The Oakland County judge overseeing this trial says the person who originally owned the gun used can testify. He bought the eventual murder weapon in May. Okay. He used it three times. He was provided with a cable lock. He never used the cable lock. He identified that as the same cable lock sold back to the firearm store, okay. which in turn will be identified by those witnesses as the same cable lock sold to Mr. Crumbly. Okay, I get it now. Adding to the witness list, the prosecution wants to call two students who were injured in the shooting who are now adults. Don't we have a video of that? We do have a video, Judge, but okay. and the video obviously is extremely relevant, extremely important because the shooting is why we are here. Mm -hmm. And when we have actual eyewitness testimony available, it is important for the jury to hear that perspective. Well, I can't imagine what those two students went through on November 30th of 2021. Their testimony is not relevant in the trial against James Crumbly. Um, he's been charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter. He's not charged with assaulting anyone with a firearm. He's not charged with shooting anyone and wounding anyone. He's charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter for the actions of his son. The judge saying she needs to review everything and will make a decision on these two other witnesses. A law professor at Cooley Law Tampa Bay campus says calling more witnesses is to show additional evidence we didn't hear in Jennifer Crumbly's case. That's one of the reasons why there have been the disclosure of additional evidence which was not introduced into Jennifer's case in an attempt to buck up and create as much prejudice and anger as possible. And it's not just the witnesses the judge has to make a decision about. The defense has also asked for this trial to be moved from Oakland County. Jeffrey Schwartz says he believes they will have to go through jury selection before she decides on moving this trial. After a while, if it becomes a losing effort, that's when the judge would have to grant the motion for change of venue. In this particular case, because you're trying to match demographics as best you can, the most likely landing spot for this trial would be Grand Rapids. The judge says she will file her decisions in the coming days. Jury selection for the James Crumbly trial is set to begin on March 5th. Earlier this month, the jury convicted Jennifer Crumbly on all four counts of involuntary manslaughter. Her sentencing is scheduled for April 9th. Live in the studio, Courtney Bennett, MidMichigan Now.